Hey, Booktube. No? Okay. Um, I just want you guys to know that every time I do something like that, Zoe, like, face palms, and she's like, oh my god, no. Um, <clears throat> but I want to talk to you about something, and I want to kind of start a discussion here, and I want the discussion to be completely, like, proper. We're all friends here. No one's saying anything about anybody, okay? Like, this is a cool, chill area. But there is something <clears throat> that if you've watched this channel since the beginning, you know, um, kind of gets at me. And um, since, well, I finished uh, Clockwork Orange, like, oh, that is washed out. A Clockwork Orange. Um, like, seriously, like, hours ago. And I'm, like, halfway through... Uh, mastermind of Mars already, but <clears throat> I've been trying to figure out how to um, say how I feel about this book without um, without offending anybody. Well, not that's not true. That's not true at all. Um, To an extent, like, offending someone and then being able to apologize to that person or to talk it out or whatever, that's what makes us human. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and um, this book just started screaming at me. And I think this book is more important now than it was when it was written. And, um, I just, okay, I'm going to read a bit to you, um, because I have that, uh, wonderful Keanu Reeves monotone that'll put you all to sleep, but, um, it's not that much, I promise you. Okay, so, um. <clears throat> they have turned you into something other than a human being. You have no power of choice any longer. You are committed to socially acceptable acts, a little machine capable only of good. And I see that clearly, that business about the marginal conditionings. Music and the sexual act, literature and art... All must be a source now, not of pleasure, but of pain. Then a little later, he says, um, They always bite off too much. But the essential intention is the real sin. A man who cannot choose ceases to be a man. Um, and then a little bit further, um, to turn a decent young man into a piece of clockwork should not, surely, be seen as any triumph for the government, save one that boasts of its repressiveness. And please, do not call me Shirley. Um, it doesn't say that last bit. But <clears throat> this, like, is just, like, screaming at me right now. And, like when I read that bit, I had to stop and, um, like it just like knocked me out of my chair, you know, uh, the way all of political correctness and, um, going out of our way to make sure we rewrite history, we rewrite literature, um, so that it's not offensive to people to get so upset if not every single person is um, represented in any form of art. Um, it's just, I don't know. And I, I really have no idea how to explain it. But this 
this one little tiny chunk out of this really awesome book. Where does it say it? A man who cannot choose ceases to be a man. <clears throat> and that they always bite off more than they could chew. And I'm not going to sit here and go, they, 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 they. I'm shaking my finger. But it's like... Once you take away... Oh, hey. What's up, 7th grade? Um, I remember a short poem that I had to... I don't think I had to memorize it. I think I did memorize it because, again, it knocked me out of my seat. But um, <clears throat> I don't know if it's how or why. But it's And if anyone knows what it is or what it's from, please let me know because I haven't read or seen it since I was in seventh grade. Um, how a minority seizing authority... Reaching majority hates a minority. And um, it's just like that goes back to that uh, complete power corrupts completely. Or no, absolute power um, corrupts absolutely. It, it's, I feel like once all of these things are taken care of, once everything's been neutered to make sure everyone's happy. The people who have been <clears throat> programmed to just go out and stop injustice, where will they go next? What thing will be the thing that they say, we need to take care of this right now? Um, how does all throughout the history of the world everything's fine we have two genders and then overnight we go from two genders to 51 or 68 or however many um you could pick on facebook now i don't i don't know <clears throat> but it's just like everything is more than it should be everything is to the greatest extent. Um, I saw a video the other day of a woman driving down the street. It was her video. She was driving down the street and a guy who was working in his yard waved to her. She was driving by and said hello. And she stopped the car and got out and started screaming at him saying she was going to call the police because he spoke to her. And um, that is just like bonkers. Like... I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. <clears throat> and the fact that you either have to be um, far right or far left to be in the club, you know? Like, if you're in the middle, <clears throat> like, you're an enemy of the left. If you're in the middle, you're an enemy of the right. <clears throat> and I just don't understand <clears throat> why being rational is like not okay you know um i don't know just the fact that this book the, for those of you who live in the uk you know what a clockwork orange is what the term is um zoe knew what it was um when i was growing up and reading this and seeing the movie and whatever <clears throat> i had no idea what it meant i just thought it was like quirky this word and this word now it's a saying um and i don't know if um americans know that it's like a thing like and i'm gonna get in trouble for saying this but i guess the saying is you're as queer as a clockwork orange not meaning sexually queer but like queer as in odd or whatever um but it's like on the outside, you look like a person, but underneath all that, like, is like a robot, is like tons of cogs and wheels and gears and everything going because we are being programmed to not offend anybody. And in doing that, everyone's losing their 
choice, their free will. Um, and pretty soon we won't be people if like we keep this up. We will be we'll be drones, you know. Um, so I hope I didn't upset anybody. <clears throat> but like I said, if I did upset you, let me know and let's chat about it. You know, like normally chat, not um, making horrible comments down below. So let me know what you think. If you haven't read Clockwork Orange yet, definitely check it out. Oh, another thing <clears throat> is um, the other copy of this I have somewhere um, didn't have the last chapter. And when I, when I read this and read the last chapter, I was like, what the fuck is this? I don't remember any of this. And um, I had to like look it up, but apparently um, for some reason the last chapter was left out of a lot of printings of this book and I I read why but um yeah so anyway um so some of them have it I think all of them have it now like on newer editions um but it was quite weird and um it leaves you with the feeling that everything's normal everything's fine everything <clears throat> the whole time was the way it should have been. It just everything was handled completely wrong. And um, that's kind of what I feel right now about everything, about all this. So again, let me know what you think below. Um, big hugs to everybody. And um, yeah, see you later.